Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful popcorn boxes. Now these are so cool. So it's from my new die collection, um, Great Night In. And here is the die set here. It's a bit bright, so let's see if I can change the brightness. There we go, that's a little bit better. So this is the popcorn um, carton die set and it comes as one whole piece. So it's really, really quick and easy to put together. And um, you only need to add glue to this side here because this all tucks in you get the negative strip there for movie night and you get the popcorn embossing die as well you also get the mats for each one so that's four dies so you can run them through all together now this coordinates with the paper collection the great night in paper collection here it is it's a 12 by 12 pad and you get these printouts here so I've got mine out here. So you add the um, the matte dies to those, run them through, and that's it. You can just glue them on, fill them with popcorn, decorate it how you wish, and you have some really easy popcorn um, boxes. You can personalise them as well. So let's pop those over there. And I'll also be using, from the Great Night In, um, the Labels A5 stamp set and the coordinating dies here that will cut out these images as well so everything's just so super easy to get um, everything ready for a great night in basically right so i've got my a4 um sheet there so let's cut out the main die first so what i've done is i have popped this onto a magnetic sheet and I've backed the magnetic sheet onto a piece of card so this is the main the main die so again you are going to be needing an A4 sized die cutting machine for this and if you're wondering I have the go power and emboss I've been trying that out for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely love it. So as you can see, my plates are flat, pretty much. Okay, so that has cut this out completely. So what I like to do is I like to add all of my mats before I pop it together. So what I'm going to do next, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep tidy this time. Other than that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do all of my score lines. So this will do all of the angled score lines for you. You can use a bone folder if you want to. So fold everything down and then we can move on to making the mats. Okay, so that is all now folded. Difficult to see because of the white. Let's see if we can create some shadows there. Okay, let's set that aside. Let's do some fun things now. So I have here um, a sheet from the Great Night Out paper pad. So I'm just going to cut the sections I need. And again, as you can see, I've already started taking some of these elements out here to decorate other die sets from the collection. So let's pop this on here. Right, here's the die set. Again, as I said, it has all of the um, the dies there, so you can do this all together. And now these images are slightly bigger so that you're not gonna get any odd things happening of overlaps and bits not cutting out properly. And another thing you can do is add some tape just to keep that in place. So I am going to have to fish out some new tape here, fresh stuff. Fresh stuff is always super sticky, so I like to just do that just to get some of the sticky off. And then I'm going to mostly put the majority of the tape on the outside of the die there. It's always a risk using the brand new tape, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, 
Right, okay, so I did lose a little bit of paper there, but because I mostly put the cellar tape on, or the, it's, it's low tack tape, but I mostly put it on the outside of the dies, the bit that I actually need has cut out quite well. Not sure what that is. Oh, there we go, just a black mark. Okay, so I can now recycle that. Okay, I'm, I'm not done with this yet, so keeping that out. And I'm also trying to be tidy as I go along because one thing that I am really good at is making a huge mess. Okay, so let's get all these glued down. So these are all going to fit perfectly on each one. And as you can see, these stripes are shaped to the slopes of the box. So let's get them glued down. I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer dries clear and it dries fast and it also is blocked up Okay, so that's all put on now, and then we'll add some glue along here, going right up to the score line here, and then we can just join this together. Okay, now for assembly, it's super easy. What you do is you pop in this one here, and then the side ones, and then the one with the sticky out tab, and then you push that through. So I'll do that again. It's this um, U-shape, pop that in first, then the side flaps, and then this one, and all you do is push that through, and there you have your box. Now you can just, that's ready to go, that is literally ready to go. You can fill that with popcorn, you can add a cellophane bag of popcorn as well, that will fit in there just nicely. These are going to be really good if you're having an outdoor movie night and you can just get a whole table full of everyone's bits and bobs and treats for everyone. You can personalise them to each person as well. You can get really, really creative. And if popcorn's not someone's thing, you can fill them up with sweets. Okay, so all I need to do now is decorate this. I'll be using this stamp set, this um, die set there that's going to cut out my image, and also one other thing, I'm going to be using this die set here from Creative Dies. This is the Stitch and, Stitched and Pierced Scalloped Nesting Ovals die set and everything that I'm using today will be listed down below.
Okay, and that is our popcorn box. So just going to pop some popcorn in. And there is the popcorn box, super easy to make. You can make a whole heap of these in advance keep them flat glue them together when you're ready to cut ready to go so that is the popcorn box so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you again soon